ก็เพราะว่าพูดภาษาไทยไม่ภาษาไทยไม่ไม่ชัดสบายใจมากมีโอกาสนี้อธิบายเรื่องพุทธศาสนาอยู่ที่ประเทศอังกฤษแล้วในช่วงนี้เป็นเงียบเงียบเพราะว่าเป็นโควิดไวรัสต้องเป็นวิเวกก็สิบอาทิตย์สิบเอ็ดอาทิตย์แล้วแต่ในช่วงนี้ก็แพ้แพ้เมตาเมตาการุณากับทุกทุกคนที่ประเทศนี้และประเทศไทยและรอบโลกเพราะว่าเป็นเป็นรกนักแล้วมีคนคนเยอะๆตายแล้วก็มีมีแต่ห่วงในในสุขภาพเรื่องในในเงินเพราะว่าก็ยุดยุดงานก็ไม่มีไม่มีสตางค์แล้วในช่วงช่วงนี้สบายใจมากมีโอกาสแสดงทำสักนิดน้อยแล้วแพ้แพ้เมตากรุณากับคนไทยและคนที่ประเทศนี้ด้วยโอเคครับขอบคุณมากครับ Right so now we come to the point that we gonna highlight for today discussion um, Well I would like to show you this famous picture probably among the Thai Buddhists. And there are two monks and one lay person. So the lay person is Dr. Desmond Binduff. And then next to uh, Dr. Desmond is Ajahn Namuru or Parat Putti Warakun and then uh, Pande Silavimala. And I would like to invite Ajahn Namuru to tell us about this picture. Am I unmuted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you can speak now. So this was the, the occasion of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's uh, Diamond Jubilee, uh, 60 years on the throne of uh, Great Britain. And uh, it was held at Lambeth Palace, uh, which is uh, the official residence of the Archbishop of, of Canterbury. So this wasn't at Buckingham Palace. It was at uh, the, uh, the Lambeth Palace, which is uh, on the, the south side of the River Thames. And uh, we were the, uh, invited to come along as representatives of the Buddhist religion. And there were uh, also representatives of uh, Islam, of various um, branches of Christianity, uh, the uh, Hinduism, uh, Sikhism, uh, the Jewish community, uh, Baha'i, and many different religions were represented on that occasion. So uh, Venerable um, Sila Vimala had br uh, brought a silver Chetia, a small silver stupa, to uh, uh, be a, uh, an object of, um, to say, an example of an object of reverence from the Buddhist tradition. So these were not given to Her Majesty, but they were brought along as uh, objects that represent the Buddhist faith. And each faith brought along a particular object, uh, a book or a ritual, uh, say, symbol that represented their, their faith in, in one way, shape, or form. So this was the occasion. And this was, uh, I believe, uh, 2000 and um, 2012. 2012, thank you. <laughs> right, right. Well, let me ask you the question because now, and many people, especially in Thailand, believe that some members of the British royal family are learning Buddhism and meditation. So, as you have the contact with them, Monarchy, you have a chance to speak to the Queen and maybe you can share your experience. And Dr. Desmond, maybe you can speak after Ajahn Amaro. Um, uh, I've never been approached by any members of the royal family for guidance about Buddhism. Uh, I've heard rumors uh, that, uh, say, Prince Charles has an interest in, in uh, Buddhism, just as he has an interest in organic farming and has quite a, a, a broad mind. That he's very respectful of different religions. Um, uh, but uh, personally, I've never been approached uh, to, to teach Buddhism. I don't know any member of the royal family who's ever visited any of our monasteries uh, in the West or, or indeed in Asia. So uh, I can't speak uh, to whether they have any kind of personal interest. That would be Her Majesty the Queen, Prince, uh, Prince Philip, uh, any of her children or grandchildren. So that uh, uh, that is unknown to me whether they have any interest, but certainly I have no personal experience of them, uh, say, requesting guidance or reading our literature even. Thank you, thank you. 